for your DR650. So let me open this bad boy up. I got an idea what this is. This is a much needed part for the old DR. The whole day I was at work just checking out my DR. I couldn't even hardly get anything done. I was the new tires just make the bike look so different. But let me show you what I got here. Don't need to see all that. Put that right there. <laughs> Two more Pro Cycle stickers to add to my collection. Okay. I got the 10 pack of high flow oil filters. Okay. That's not what I'm. Come on, man. Get out of here. All right, let me take all these filters out and set them somewhere, and then I'll uh, fade this back in a second. Okay, I cut it open. That's the installation kit. And what I got here, if I could ever get the styrofoam off, sorry, hold on. Oh man, that looks good. Finally got my skid plate. Uh, I want to install this bad boy right now, but I'm not going to. I'm going to let the bike cool down a little bit because I just got off the bike. I just got home from work. So, uh, got my Warp 9 skid plate. I've been wanting this for a while now. Uh, looks pretty good. Very happy with the quality of the old, very ha happy with the quality. So, Warp 9 skid plate, definitely a good day for the old DR650. So, I got that, and my 10 pack of high flow oil filters. That's a lot of oil changes right there. <laughs> so, I don't need an oil filter for a while. So, there you have it. Warp 9 skid plate and a 10 pack of uh, high flow oil filters for the Suzuki DR650. Okay. <clears throat> now, another thing I got is this warp. Let me turn this light out here so you can see it a little better. Another thing I got is this warp 9 skid plate. Um, it goes underneath the bike and protects the motor of the old Suzuki DR650. Uh, comes with some basically uh, very simple instructions. Um, it looks like it's only like four main bolts holding it on and then these little rubber grommets to kind of uh, cushion the sides. So I'm not going to do no how-to video or anything like that, you know, because uh, it's just basically four bolts. It's a pretty simple install. Most of the people I read online had it installed in like maybe 15 minutes. So no how-to video. I'm not going to show myself installing it because... Uh, it's, it's night and I have an issue with lights. It's gonna be dark underneath there. So I just don't wanna wait any longer. I'm gonna put it on now, put it on tonight. When I go to work in the morning, I have my new skid plate on. Uh, got the brand new tires, but I'll talk about that later. And I have a brand new helmet. So I'm on my way, y'all, I'm on my way. This is the first step, of all the tires were the first step. This is step number two uh, on plating. Just try and make this DR650 just trying to make the Suzuki DR650 a better off-road vehicle. So, uh, let me hook this up. Hook this up on my old DR. And then uh, I'll, fade it back, I'll fade it back in once I get it all hooked up. Alright. Just out here. Just getting off of work. Uh, just out here. Just, just going to put in this work now. It's time to put in some work on this DR. <laughs> Alright, y'all. Exciting day, man. A lot happened today for me. Oh boy. 
The old skid plate. I got it on there. Um, yeah. I got the skid plate on. I don't. It's kind of late at night. I don't have any blue Loctite. So I got it on there. But I'm eventually, probably tomorrow or sometime on the weekend, I'm going to get some Loctite and take each bolt out. Put some Loctite on and then put the bolt back in. Uh, but for now, I got it in there. I got it tight. I don't. I didn't over tighten it. I just got it, you know, tight so it wouldn't turn no more hand tighten. Um, I will keep an eye on it. I'll just keep them snug. I'll keep my tool with me, and I'll just make sure to check them uh, every so often before the weekend. Um, but today is Wednesday, so I'm only, only got to be riding. I'm only gonna ride maybe till Sunday. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, uh, maybe three more days. It should be okay for three days until I can get some Loctite and put the Loctite on there. But there you have it, uh, Warp 9 skid plate, aluminum skid plate. Looking pretty good. I'm taking a few snapshots, and then that's it. It basically was four bolts and then a little rubber piece for the cushion. All right, y'all.